none of the FRS reports or allocations are working in test environment after clone from production users started screaming because they are not able to complete their uh, testing of their uh, critical uh, project. So in this video, I will explain to you how did we resolve this particular issue and how did we even come up with a checklist of items to be considered after the test environment is refreshed uh, from production. This is Darbind Varganti and you are watching Oracle EBS and Fusion videos channel. So with regard to the issue where uh, you are not able to run the FRS reports or the allocation rules after the environment is refreshed is because the the space balances cubes gets corrupted and you need to run the create general ledger balances cube program or the job for each combination of the chart of accounts and uh, calendar because this job will rebuild the balances cubes and only once the balances cubes are rebuilt you should be able to run the your FRS reports or uh, allocation rules. Now let me show you from the Fusion environment as to how you can run this particular job. So you can go to scheduled process. So go to your uh, tools, scheduled process and look for the program name create gen ledger balances cube. Create general lecture balances cube. You click on OK and then you should be able to select the parameters. So you should be selecting the chart of accounts, accounting calendar, and uh, probably you should uh, select the starting period. So the in the test environment, you need to run this particular job for each combination of the chart of accounts and accounting calendar and also sometimes like even running of this particular job might not help you and uh, after running of this particular job if you are still not able to i mean if the frs reports and allocation rules, uh, rules are appearing and if you are able to run them properly then that's great but for some reason you are not even able to see your uh, frs uh, reports or your uh, allocation rules for whatever may be the reason then you need to Follow these particular steps mentioned in Oracle documentation to migrate your financial reports from one environment to another environment. And similarly, you need to follow another note for migrating of your allocation rules from one environment from one environment to another environment. So that means in this case, you need to migrate them from your production to your test environment. So I'll again copy paste the uh, the URLs for these two steps. And coming back uh, to the next uh, checklist of item is you need to turn off your BPM workflow email notifications. So by turning off the your BPM workflow notifications, no emails accidentally are sent from your test environment to your suppliers or uh, customers for any test transactions performed in your test environment. So in order to do this, so you need to follow this particular navigation, which is uh, click on bell icon so let me again just show you that in the environment click on this uh, bell icon and then click on show all and then go to your work list and then <clears throat> under your uh, username click on uh, administration and then scroll down and change the notification mode there should be something called notification mode okay the notification mode uh, is generally set to all so change it from all to uh, in app so that you can still perform some kind of a testing so wherein the emails are not being sent out but you uh, but the users will be still be able to see the notifications within the uh, your uh, Oracle environment. But if you for some reason, if you do not even want this, just change it to none. But otherwise, I generally uh, change it to in app and I do not want any emails to be generated from my test environment. So that's the step on how to turn off your BPM workflow notification. And uh, the next step would be disable a site level profile option. So this is the task manage administrator uh, profile values and search for the profile option. PO control supplier communication and disable it at site level. So just in case for some reason, whether if this doesn't work or even somehow you missed it out. So this should take care and ensure that as far as at least your 
PO communications are concerned, system will not send any email communications to the vendors whenever you are performing some transactions or running some reports depending on your uh, uh, configurations. So ensure that this particular profile option is disabled. So let me show you this uh, <coughs> manage administrator profile option values. Yes. So go for the search and maintenance, sorry, setup and maintenance, and then go for global search and then search for the task manage administer profile values and then look for the profile option code PO control supplier communication. See here, this is a profile option which controls emails and fax communications in purchasing. So you can see here if this particular profile option doesn't exist or this, this record doesn't exist, click on place and create this record. So just click on this and then select site. Okay, it already exists. So hence it's throwing this error message. But otherwise, you select site and uh, change the value from enable to disable. Generally in production, it will be uh, enabled, but uh, in your test environment, you need to disable that so that no emails are being sent from your test environment to the vendors. Okay, so the next one is turn off transmission configuration. So the reason why we need to turn off this uh, transmission uh, configuration is to ensure that the payment files uh, which are generated in test environment is not sent to the external banks or third parties. So you can see the navigation. You need to go for the task manage transmission configurations. So let me copy this, get into our app and search for the task manage transmission configurations. manage transmission configurations so this one <coughs> and then here uh, search for the protocol again it depends on your uh, environments so generally what i would do is i will search for the protocol secure file transfer protocol for static file names and then search so again, this being a test environment, uh, I do not have, but if I have that, probably let me change this as well. Okay, so I'm just clicking on create because it doesn't uh, exist in this case, but generally in your production environment, you will have the records. So I just click on create so that uh, I can come to this particular screen and show you. So what you need to do is you need to whatever the server name, port number, account user ID and password and your remote file uh, name, remote file directory, local file directory. So you need to again remove all those values or maybe just update those values with some dummy value so that just in case if somebody runs any payment patch in the test environment, a file will not get generated and sent to the back. So this is very much important. And uh, the next step is if you have any other admin account, so try to change the password of those uh, admin accounts after uh, clone. That's step seven. And uh, next one is update banner information to reflect the environment name when it was refreshed. So generally, if you look at your Oracle environment, so generally what I do is like in my client environment, there will be a banner here saying that it's a kind of a test environment. Just, just to be on a safe side to differentiate this from the production environment. This is not mandatory, but it's always good to have uh, show the banner information saying that this is a uh, test environment. So in order to update your uh, banner uh, information after the your uh, environment got refreshed. So you need to go to the uh, navigation or you need to search for the task manage administer profile values and then search for the profile option code fnd underscore banner see here you can see you have a banner and a banner message so if you go for a banner come here click on this plus 
and the site and you can just see uh, mention some banner messages so i can say this is a test environment or i would say yeah this is the test environment this is for uh, banner message and here i can go here and i can click on place and uh, i can provide additional information for message so probably i can i might say that this environment got refreshed from production and so on so date something like that so if you can set that for your uh, banner message and the banner message details so you have two profile options so click on save and close so generally once you log out and log in back then you should be able to see that particular message here so sometimes it might take a couple of minutes to take the uh, impact so you should be able to see that particular banner message somewhere here once you log out and log in back so that's the step number eight and step number nine is like update from email id and reply to email id under receivable system options so this is the task this needs to be performed for all bus so it's it's mandatory that you need to perform this for all the bus so go for the task manage receivables system options so go to setup and maintenance and then go to the global search and then search for the task manage receivables system options and then select your uh, bu so this being a test environment uh, i am just picking up some bu us1 business unit so let me select this and then search and then click on this and scroll down so here you should be able to see under transaction delivery using mail and statement delivery using mail you can see from email id and to me from email and reply to email so just uh, changes from us1 billing at redfusion.com i mean in this example to some dummy email address so take out the real email address which is copied from production to the test environment and then replace that with uh, something else, some dummy email address. So that's step number nine. And if you are using budgets, so you need to run transfer control budget balances to a space for each control budget. So when you run this particular pro, again, you can go to the schedule process and run this particular job. When you when you are running that particular job, system is going to ask you to select the concerned control budget as a parameter. So run this particular process for each of the control budget. Okay. And the next one is, disable your sending of ap remittance advices to suppliers so you need to perform this particular step for all the concerned payment process profiles so go for the task manage payment process profiles so let me go back go to the global see here you can see the banner message now it's taking in impact so whatever the banner message whatever mentioned it's appearing here Okay, so now go for manage uh, payment process profiles. Okay, pick up your uh, concerned uh, payment process uh, profile. So probably this being a test environment, so I'll just pick up uh, one of the payment process. Profiles. So probably maybe this one. And then uh, it should be under, I believe, reporting. Under reporting and uh, under uh, separate remittance advice, you can see delivery method. So probably in your, uh, your, your live environment, it might be uh, say e email. So what you need to do is change, change it from email to say printed. Okay. And once you do that, also check this overhead payee delivery method preference so also check this particular checkbox so remember do this for all your concerned payment process profiles so this is done to ensure that remittance advices are not being sent from the test environment to the vendors okay and also the last one is disable check printing so note perform this step for all the check related payment process profiles so probably uh, let me see if there are any check related payment process profile so probably see i can see some of the check related uh, payment process profile so let me pick up one of these things and for the check related uh, payment process uh, profiles 
so click on i mean it's already in edit mode if not you can you need to just click on edit and then here you can see the payment file send to printer so change it from send to printer to send to file so when you do this so uh, if somebody is running the payment process uh, somebody is using this particular payment process profile uh, to test something the checks would not be directly uh, sent to the actual uh, production printer okay just in case so it would be sent to file so that means checks would not be printed on your production uh, your uh, check printer okay so to be on a safe side do this exercise for all the check related payment process so these are all the different steps which i have documented again this is focusing only on financials but with regard to your uh, your supply chain or your uh, cx which is your crm or your H hcm there could be lot of other checklist of items so this is based on my experience i i created uh, from a financials perspective thank you thanks for watching my video for interesting uh, videos on oracle uh, financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you